That's delicious. Better than IHOP, for sure. I'm a little scared of this one, but. What are you? Oh, that's, oh my God, it's a potato. We're gonna be visiting Europe today and we're gonna be trying some Hungarian dishes. Nice, very cool. I do like to travel. My best friend's mom is actually Hungarian, so maybe I've already eaten it. I've never been to Europe. I don't even know what Hungarian food means. Not a single thing comes to my mind when you say the word Hungarian. I have no idea what they eat. I've never even heard about like Hungarian cuisine, so that's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, what's in store. The Polish one was pretty good. So I'm hoping we're staying on that streak of good European food. Here's your first dish. Cool. What in the world is that? It actually looks a lot like just regular like American chili. I think there's like meat in here. There's, it looks like there's beans maybe in here. Mmm, this smells really good. Like I'm actually really excited to try it. Yeah, it's good. I don't taste any spices. I wanna say that's chicken. It literally just tastes like chili. Oh, a little spicy too, okay. It's got a little kick, I like it. It's actually really good. It's it's meaty, it's a little bit of saucy. This is chicken for sure. And I like this like sauce thing. I'm not sure what like, the sauce or whatever it is really is. It's just really meaty, it's like really hearty. I just feel like this is something I'd probably have eaten like as a kid as like a comfort food sort of thing. This is chicken paprikash. It is a light stew made with sweet paprika, chicken and dumplings known as nokedli, which are small pieces of egg and flour handmade and formed into the stew while it's cooking. What? Wow, this is really good. I have, I finished it all. I kind of want more. I really like this. This is definitely something that I would like to learn how to make because I feel like I would really enjoy at my own house. Here's your second dish. Hmm, this looks a little different. It looks like more meat-based lasagna. It looks like we got a mixture of lasagna and an enchilada. Wow, this is really good too. It kind of tastes like a meatball. I'm a little scared of this one, but... <laughs> Shouldn't have been scared. That's really nice. It's very tomatoey. It almost tastes Italian. Tastes like a uh, cabbage, meatloaf, a little bit of tomato, a little onion. It has like, like a leafy vegetable that's like wrapped around, almost like what tastes like a like a meatball meatloaf kind of thing. I don't know what they did to this cabbage leaf, but it's a really good concoction. I like this. This is rakot kaposta, or layered cabbage, stuffed with pork, rice, and sour cream. I like. Two thirds of those things that you said. I don't like sour cream. I'm not a fan of sour cream, so that's pretty, it's cool that it's like masked in there somewhere. It tastes delicious. I'm obsessed with this. I probably go to Europe just for Hungary. Here is your next one. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have. Looks like a crepe. I don't know what's gonna be inside of it, so that's what I'm curious about, but it seems quite sticky. It smells like honey. What is that? Oh, a little, uh, little walnuts or almonds. Initially, I tasted like nuts, and then there's this like sweet, almost kind of like sour taste that came with it. Whoa. Whoa, what does that taste? There's like seeds in this or something. I'm curious, I'm gonna open this. So there's some kind of like syrupy jam in it. There's like like crushed up nuts, maybe walnuts. It's good, it's like really light. Maybe a little bit of like honey or apricot sort of thing with a little bit of like nuttiness to it. And the blueberries fit really, really well as well. It's really nice, I like it. It was really sweet, like I could eat this for breakfast and I'll feel fancy. So this one is called palacinta and it is basically a Hungarian crepe. They are made with a thin layer of batter in a pan spread with apricot preserves and crushed walnuts topped with powdered sugar. Apricots, got it, awesome. Never had that before but delicious. If we haven't started putting nuts in crepes, we need to start doing it. The Hungarians know what they're doing. That's delicious. Better than IHOP for sure. Here's another very popular dish. Is this a cake? 
That's not cake. What are you? Oh, that's, oh my God, it's a potato. Eggs, cheese, bacon, ham. Breakfast, breakfast burrito minus the burrito. This definitely smells kind of like a breakfasty thing because I smell like cheese. It smells kind of like, mm, I don't want to say bacon. That looks like sausage. Ooh, looks like sausage in there. Oh yes. I love potatoes. And then just a mixture with the egg in it too. That was really good. This is really good too. I love the sausage. It tastes like kind of smoky. That's good. Potatoes and sausage, man. You can't get too, you can't get wrong with that. It's very like heavy with the potatoes and stuff. It looks like it has some sort of like cream sort of texture in it. And it has potato, um, like a sausage sort of thing. But it's nice. This is rakot krumpli, also known as layered potatoes. This is a well-known casserole made with potatoes, Hungarian sausage, hard-boiled eggs, cream, and cheese. Delicious. Good, good. Denny should serve this. They're all very simple ingredients, but the taste is amazing. I feel like I could eat this every single day for breakfast, and I'll be, like, really happy. Last one. All right. This looks like a stew. It smells really good. It's like, it reminds me of a stew. Mmm, that melts in your mouth. I like the meat a lot. It's a little more pungent than the other meats, I would say. Ooh, I really like that. It tastes so flavorful and also, once again, like a really comfort food sort of thing. It's not bad. It tastes like a beef stew, basically. I hate to say this, because everything else has tasted so good, but it tastes like can stew. It's different from the first sort of like stew dish that I tried. The other one had like more like kind of like a kick to it. So this is called Guyash Levesh. It is a Guyash soup. This is a staple in Hungarian cuisine and is one of the country's national dishes. Guyash can be made from beef, veal, pork, or lamb, which is then cut into chunks, cooked with onions, and stewed with paprika and vegetables. I feel bad now. This didn't end off with a bang. I was expecting to have a little dance party in my mouth. I gotta go to Hungary now, cause shit. All this food is amazing. So, which of these Hungarian dishes would you recommend people try? Um, I like the last one. I think it's called goulash. The rokot krumpli. The goulash stew. The potato uh, stack thing. Rokot krumpli. Palachinta. That was amazing. I like the, the like layered cabbage one. Whenever you know you get an opportunity to try something different, I think everyone should. One of the few things that brings all people together is, aside from like laughter and music, is food. Thanks for watching Let's Try Hungarian Food on the React channel. What country should we visit next? Let us know in the comments. Bye everyone! Zerbus everyone! Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for visiting Hungary with us today. If you want to be notified when our next episode releases, go ahead and hit subscribe. Bye!